Hi there, Niklas here. I'm very excited today to bring you the Lars Randonen Kantele. Kantele is a traditional Finnish and Karelian plucked string instrument. The physical version of the Lars Randonen is an old 30-string concert kantele made around 1902. The strings were tuned using a diatonic scale, so only the notes were present. Most modern concert candles have a switch mechanism for making the sharps and the flats, but Lars Randonen didn't have one. So we extended the notes to cover the sharps and the flats. We extended also the low end notes. and the high-end notes. Articulations are down here. We have the long notes, damped notes, Combination of long and damped notes. Harmonics. and mallets. If you wish, you may unload unused samples here. Before we go any further, we can decide if we wish to play the instrument more like a candele or more like a piano. We can choose the playing mode here. Player is for candele type of playing and classic is for piano type of playing. The main difference is that in the classic mode you need to press the sustain pedal down to keep the long notes ringing. With a sustain pedal up, you get the short notes. In the player mode, you can play the long notes without pressing the sustain pedal. And with the sustain pedal down, you get the damped notes. And as you can see, whenever I press the sustain pedal down, this control here is triggered. It's a damping board. The physical large Rantonen didn't have a damping board, which most modern concert candles have, so we programmed one in. In the player mode, when you press the sustain pedal, the damping board is triggered. So if you just momentarily use it, it just mutes the notes. When you keep the sustain pedal down, you can play the damped notes.
and in the classic mode it's the opposite. So when you release the sustain pedal, the damping board is triggered and the notes are muted. When the sustain pedal is up, you can play the short notes. With this round slider you can control how quickly the notes are muted when the damping board is used. You can also switch the damping board feature completely off if you wish so. Ok, now we can explore other ways to include damped notes and the harmonics into your playing. Maybe the easiest way to trigger the damped notes is to press the sustain pedal down when in the player mode as shown earlier. The second option is to use these trigger key switches. When you keep a trigger key switch pressed, you can play the damped notes or the harmonics whenever. The downside is that then you can really only play with one hand. But we have another option where you can keep both hands on the playable keys. Here you can control what action triggers the damped notes or the harmonics. Pedal plus velocity means that first you have to press the expression pedal down to trigger the mode. And as you can see the expression pedal controls this control here and then use the velocity to control when to play the damped notes or the harmonics. With this velocity control you can adjust what kind of velocity range is needed. This left arrow means that the velocity has to be below this velocity to trigger the harmonics. And the right arrow means that the velocity has to be above this velocity. If we change the mode to velocity only, you don't need the pedal to trigger the special notes. Just control the velocity to use them. With the pedal only option you can use the damped notes or the harmonics anytime you press the expression pedal completely down. Here you can adjust the stereo width. And these are the three microphones that we used. Left, center and right. You can control the volume of each microphone independently. The big red button switches the reverb on and off.
and this slider controls how big the reverb is. From this menu you can choose between different reverb spaces. This big round slider controls the note length, so basically how long the sample is played. You can use it with the expression pedal. And with this switch polarity button you can change the polarity of your expression pedal if needed. Using this yellow key switch down here you can replug the string, so basically you repeat the note. With this you can create tremolo. Here are the controls for the expression, which controls the overall volume. Tone, which controls the brightness of the instrument. and the delay. With the offset controller you can change the sample starting point. Attack controls how fast the note reaches its full volume. And with a pad you can make the notes ambient. You can observe visually what controls are used for the pad, so it's easy to adjust those as you wish. You can, for example, add some delay to make the pad even larger.
from the control tab you can change the location of the key switches and the CC numbers for the controllers. Note that if you don't like to use the sustain pedal as a damping board, you can change it here. That's about it. You can check out more details on niklaseuren.com. Have fun with the candle. Thank you.